Okay, so this is a demo of uh, using two cameras with one Raspberry Pi um, using Motion iOS. Um, so just a little summary, uh, Motion iOS allows you to do video streaming uh, using Raspberry Pi and has pretty low latency. Um, and one really nice thing about it is once you boot it up, it actually provides you with an IP address. Um, if you're on the same network, you can connect to that IP address and then it gives you this nice little interface. Um, so I'm gonna show where uh, the um, configuration we have right now. So we actually have just two cameras and they're connected through a Raspberry Pi camera multiplexer and then that is connected through into the camera input right there. So um, that is all set up and uh, this using this multiplexer has a truth table associated with it. So um, you know depending on if you want to use camera A, B, C, and D you have to um, you know select these control pins in this configuration. Um, and right now we have cameras connected to camera A and camera C. So I'm going to show the code real quick. So uh, basically all I'm doing is I'm while looping between uh, 0, 0, 1 and then 0, 1, 0. And that just basically alternates between camera 1, uh, camera A, excuse me, and then camera C. So. I'm going to exit out of this, and then I'm just going to run my Python script that I just showed you. So, okay, so as you can see right now, um, every, it's a, every 10 seconds it switches cameras. So we're gonna go back over to the interface that I've connected to on my laptop. Um, and then one thing you need to do at the beginning, uh, once you start like this script, is you just need to change some sort of setting and then reapply it. Um, and then that reconnects the camera. So as you can see right there, after doing that, uh, I have the camera interface right there. Make that bigger so you can see. So yeah, right now it's displaying this camera right here and then in about a few seconds, it will switch to this one. So as you can see, I'll move this around and that one switches. And then it's going to switch back over to the next camera right here. And then as I move this one around, you can see in the background right there. Yeah, so the next step we're going to be working on is being able to uh, remotely switch between cameras instead of having a script that we're running on the Raspberry Pi. That's it.